it is in fact clear, so go forward a bit more Aaron, hold this position, now start turning, brake and clutch because of that car, brake and clutch, turn a bit more, I don't know what they're doing but that is not the space for it. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry, sorry, that's not you, I'll tell you what happened in a second, back on the accelerator, carry on, this guy behind is an idiot, keep an eye on that van, what's he doing, brake clutch, quickly. Hi guys, welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Alvin and today we're doing another lesson with Erin. Today's lesson, we're going to continue with where we kind of left off last lesson, which was hazard perception. Doing more and more independently, making sure that you're actually taking charge by braking. Oh, and another thing we're going to try and do is try and time our approach to things. Yeah. <laughs> so that we're not stopping and starting as often, like if we can avoid it and mini roundabout. So today's main objective is continue with had had a lot on. This happens way too often. <laughs> today's main objective is to continue with hazard perception and also um, starting on mini roundabouts, being able to deal with crossings and mini roundabouts because there's a lot of um, zebra crossings before and after roundabouts around the area. I just realised I haven't even cleared up the mess in the car. You ready? drive off when you're ready. <clears throat> Yay! Alright, check again. Well done. I knew that was going to happen. I was actually like, sitting there in neutral again. See, no, I'm done with that one. It's a bit fast, wasn't it? Yeah. Were you braking? No. Oh. Okay, let's do a left turn here. Get with the feet ready straight away. <clears throat> On that corner, what if somebody had turned up? You'd be in a bit of a panic, wouldn't you? Where? You know where you didn't break into the bend? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where should we position on this really wide road? Yeah. yeah. You see that little red marker? Yeah. Let's bring that to the yellow line. The red one? Yeah, the red one to the yellow line. Go on. It won't hit the curb, don't worry. <laughs> Trust me on that one. I put them really quite perfectly into position. Now, how does that feel in front? Close? So close. Check your left mirror. How does that look? Not that close. Not that close. Okay, <laughs> we're good. So you can use the front of your windscreen, like the middle part, that's roughly where the blue one is. And the red one's just like a drain width to the right. We're going to go ahead at the traffic lights. Of a jolt with that brake. How do we get rid of that? Brake earlier. Brake earlier so that by the end we can take some of that pressure off. So remember it was more brake and then less brake. Very nice. And we're just keeping an eye on that right side mirror because they shouldn't come forward with that motorbike, did, didn't he? Off the accelerator for this bit. What's the speed limit? Yes, okay. <laughs> Look at that, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we've got a roundabout in front by the station, and there's lots of pedestrians that like crossing there. Um, the roundabout itself, the turn is a little bit sharp, and then there's a zebra crossing just after as well. So be really mindful. I'll talk you through this one because it's quite busy. We're going to be making a right turn, so check, and then, good, just brake and position with the centre line now, go all the way to the centre line, yep, closer to the centre line gradually, 
Now all the way to where that triangle is, can you see it? Now braking and looking right, it is in fact clear, so go forward a bit more Erin, hold this position, now start turning, brake and clutch because of that car, brake and clutch, turn a bit more. I don't know what they're doing but that is not the space for it. Yeah. Should we change gear? Let's put the clutch down and then change it. Now straighten the wheel okay, because your tyre is facing the uh, station at the moment. Bring it back, there you go. All good? Nice and steady, we're good to go, she's not there yet. And keep it going. Brilliant. Just come over to the left more. Really nice turn at the roundabout. Just because that was that one there. <laughs> but we did approach slow, so it didn't feel so overwhelming, right? Now we've got some roadworks. We have to stop the brake. More pressure now, more, more pressure. Your, your foot brake. Your foot's a bit too low on that brake. You need to take it a little bit higher than that. Check that mirror. And turn a lot more. I just don't want your foot to slip off the brake, so take it a bit higher up. So more of the ball of your foot rather than like just the tip, okay? Alright, driving more towards the left. Okay, so with the, with the roadworks there, what I want you to do is what we've done a few lessons back. When you're driving at 20 and you want to stop, brake from 20 until what number? 10. 10 and then clutch. And then by the end you're now five and then easing off the pressure. Make sure you're looking at the speed for this. Good, with your brake foot, watch it. Oh, yeah. Take it higher up. Just because I don't want your foot to kind of slip off like that yeah. if it goes too low. Like that's a better position there, okay? You ready? I want you to aim to put the clutch down two car lengths before this point. We kind of put it down a bit too late. Yeah. There's no harm if you put it down a bit earlier provided you're already slow. Okay? Now make sure as we're going forward that there's enough space for you. There is on this occasion. Keep an eye on that cyclist and where she is as well, okay? fault but if she's coming in front we're gonna break and then go again slowly so they're just moving in the distance aren't they yeah. Yeah. just step off briefly I want you to watch both sides and I know uh, that left mirror was very close there what were you looking at something on the floor. I saw that something on the floor but it wasn't what you're thinking <laughs> Alright, keep it round to the left, kind of flowing into that space, and then checking the right. You hear that noise? Mm hmm. Is there enough space for us to continue? Keep an eye on that van. Yeah. What's he doing? Brake clutch, quickly. First gear. Don't rush. Feet ready. Up. Steady. Now, that van, because there was quite a big gap between you and the car in front, he's bound to come out. So kind of expect it to happen so you're, you're more prepared. All right so we've got a mini roundabout. We're going to be turning left. What can you see before the roundabout? Zebra crossing. Zebra crossing. Now that is station which means that zebra crossing is going to be popular. So what should we do for our left turn then? Really nice break there. Go for it yeah. To change gear, definitely change gear. Mirrors and signal when you get a chance. And make sure your foot position on the brake is a little bit higher, okay? Now, is the roundabout clear? Yeah. Yeah, then look where you're going. And in you go. Alright, how's this crossing? Okay. A little bit of brake, but clutch out. Because of the downhill gradient. All right, can you keep scanning for pedestrian crossings and roundabouts and alert me when there is one coming up? Zebra crossing. Zebra crossing. Space is a bit tight, isn't it? Yeah. What should we do? Brakes. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to say it, I want you to actually do it as well. <laughs> I 
Oh, that's a bit tight. Break. Good. And then go again. <laughs> Sometimes it may feel pointless, but it's to get you into that mindset now, okay? And pivot your foot rather than moving your whole foot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Hmm, what is this? Oh, okay. Anything else? Roundabout. Roundabout. Right <laughs> We're going to go straight on. You can keep going. He's on your left. Go on, turn a little more. I don't know when I have to, like... Well, you have to give priority to your right. So that would be he the was traffic. On my left, he was on your left, so we didn't need to stop. Oh. <laughs> That's what I was saying. You don't need to because he's on your left. So we wait for traffic in front if they're turning or traffic from your immediate right. We don't want to catch up to her, do we? Sorry, just a little. Because of the dip next to the zebra crossing. Anyone behind us, Ari? No. What sort of speed are we up to? 17. 13. Now, we don't want to overtake her, do we? No. So let's try and maintain a slightly bigger distance than this, because she is slow. All right, what's this looking like? What is it? Roundabout. All right, so we're giving way to who? Yeah. Anyone there? Yeah. All right, we're all good. Accelerate. I think we might have a small window here to overtake her. But then there's that black car coming. It's not worth it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's not good enough. Anybody behind? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes you might get stuck behind a cyclist, and so, that, that's. So. I know, I know, but you've got to keep this distance in front because you don't want to compromise her safety either by getting closer. Maintain a bit more space if you can. Just kind of increase it. You can see she's kind of going around all the drains and stuff. So even if the road ahead is clear, we'd still be wary of yeah. how much space we can uh, leave with her. All right, looking at the end of the road, what do you see? Crossing. Good. There's one more thing, a sign slightly hidden. Roundabout. Roundabout, yeah, you can see the blue in the trees. We're gonna go right. Can I leave you in charge of that? Uh. Mm-hmm. We would also look left, but we don't stop for them. And then we're going to turn left at this one. Good. Make sure your foot's on the brake a little bit higher. And then looking where we're going. What about this girl? What do we do? Good. Don't rush. You're good. Now just look at the cyclist, but keep your wheel as it is. Because the thing is, we're already in the roundabout, right? Yeah. But sometimes cyclists will still choose to go around you. Was that okay? Yeah. Looking ahead. So, this is one of those roads where we can overtake. Yeah. <laughs> but now that island and then the parked car on the right. Do you want to do it here? Yeah. Mirrors, move wide and put your foot on the accelerator quite firmly. Like really go for it. Really put your foot down but don't move left. Put more pressure on the accelerator. Now check the mirrors. Keep going. You have to really accelerate in order to get away from her so that you're not hanging around. Park up in that big space by the um, street lamp, please. Right next to the street lamp if you can. Here it is. No. You need to let that guy know what you're doing. Good. That would be great there. Thank you. No handbrake. Neutral. Push. You know what? You switched off the engine, right? Yeah. But you had it in gear. Yeah. So that was still better than taking it into neutral and then just switching off the engine. Because the gear will actually hold your car in place. So you won't roll, even if you're on a gradient. But next time, <laughs> handbrake. First, so that you don't forget anything else. Okay, how's your drive gone so far? Alright. Yeah. There was no one on the roundabouts. The roundabouts were all right, actually. Nothing <laughs> yeah. was really going on. But you, your question was, uh, you don't realise who you're waiting for. Yeah. Do you get who you're waiting for? Yeah, no, I do. Yeah. The right. Yeah, right and ahead. Okay. So if you take um, a normal crossroads, where there's a, a left turn, a straight, and then a right turn, mm. as you're approaching, the first place we're looking is straight ahead, because that's the first place you can see. Yeah. Then as we get a bit closer, you're going to look across to the right and see what they're doing. And if they're coming in, we'll then decide according to them. We also look left, 
but we don't stop for them. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So who are the two people that we wait for? Ahead and right. Ahead and right. That's the two we're really kind of like, yep, yep, yep. Can we go? Uh, zebra crossings, was it okay with the girl on the red, with the red on the last? Because you yeah. were just standing there, wasn't she? Yeah. But yeah, she's waiting there for the road to stop. Some pedestrians would wait, some people just kind of walk out. So we need to stop for her, even if she's just standing there, because she is waiting to cross. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> what we could try out now is a bit of clutch control in first gear and in reverse gear. So when you're going forward, you obviously look forward nice and easy um, when you're reversing you need to look out this way now what you can do is in your seat you can kind of scoot towards me so that you're twisted a little bit that way you're able to turn around and actually look out the back yeah rather than going oh, I can't see out there <laughs> but the annoying thing is when you sit in that position your left leg for the clutch because mine's right but it will be stretching a little bit yeah. So that's why it makes it a bit harder to reverse when you do that, but it makes it easier to see, okay? Now when you're reversing, you're going to be looking here, making sure no pedestrians are stepping in the road behind you, and over to the right, making sure nobody from the road is kind of walking in. Okay. We're going to try and aim to reverse between zero to two miles per hour, so very slowly, and we're going to keep checking here, and there, and here, and there. So with clutch control, what we're going to do is I'm going to give you three commands. I'm going to say go, I'm going to say slow, and I'm going to say stop. When I say go, you're moving your right foot to the accelerator and your clutch to the biting point just to start moving. When I say slow, with the clutch you're going to dip it down like this much. And what's that going to do? Slow down. Slow you down. But it won't stop. Not straight away anyways. It's going to lose momentum because those plates are just disconnecting. And then when I say stop, you're going to put the clutch down fully and then use the brake. Yeah. So with your feet, it's this. Go, slow, stop. Go, slow, stop. So your clutch is going to go in and out fully when you're on go or stop. But in, on slow, it just kind of dips. Okay. Should we try it out in first gear going forward first? Yeah. Because then we'll have some space to actually back up. So I'm going to say go slow and stop as we go forward in a straight line initially. So we'll just have a quick look around before we go forward. Nobody? All right, looking ahead. And remember, we're only just trying to find the biting point, just trying to get to the point where it moves, but we're not trying to go very fast. So let's go. Slow. Stop. Very impressive, I'm happy with that. Let's try again, let's go. Slow, go, slow, stop. Very nice. We're gonna go forward one more time. Let's go. Slow, go, slow. Just keep the wheel very slightly to the right so we don't go too close to the <laughs> Just turn it slightly more. And stop. All right, how was that control? Okay. That was really nice. That wasn't just okay. That was really good. <laughs> All right, now let's try the same thing in reverse. It will be a bit trickier. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go into neutral. So you're going to be kind of sitting forward normally, just or you're going to twist and sit round so you can see out the back a bit better. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so pop it into reverse. It's up. Brilliant. I know the camera's there, but don't stare at the camera. Okay, so we're gonna look here. Anybody? No. Then look in the road. There's just that van, and then we'll reverse after they've passed, okay? okay. But same as before. So looking behind me. So you want to be looking where you're going, and it's really easy to turn the wheel, so try not to move your arms as you're <laughs> spinning around to check, okay? So looking behind, let's go. Good. Slow, go, slow, stop, let's go, slow, stop, we'll try it one more time, let's go, 
slow, go, slow, go, slow, and stop. You can take the gear out. There you go. So you just kind of take it forward, it kind of drops into neutral, but you just lightly let it drop to that position. How was that? Okay. Was it the same sort of control? Feels all right? Yeah. Was it harder at all? Yeah, it was harder because you have to look. So, yeah, that's but yeah, no, you, don't, you actually dealt with that really nicely. I've got nothing, no feedback to give you. That was really good. But now, as we're driving, <laughs> when we get to these junctions, when we get to these roundabouts, and then you're kind of looking where you can't see very well, we need to edge forward using this control. Okay? So when you're ready, we're going to go again, and we're going to revisit those roundabouts and zebra crossings where I'm not going to point out the hazards, I'm not going to point out the pedestrians. I'll help you with the roundabouts if, you've, if it looks like you've missed something, but otherwise I'm not going to say very much. Okay? Okay, so when you're ready, Erin, I'd like you to drive off. So this will be the independent part. You always have to slow, otherwise it goes too fast. See that? Yeah. So that technique, go slow and stop, you actually have to put it into practice a lot in tight spaces, like junctions. All right, let's turn left, please. So just a reminder, I'm not reminding you of pedestrians, of roundabouts coming up, unless I can see that you've missed something. Give it a bit more clearance. Remember, most of the car is on your left. I'm looking at this car like, oh, we're gonna hit it, we're gonna hit it. <laughs> okay, so at the roundabout, I'd like you to turn right, and then immediately after, there's another one, we're gonna turn left. So right, and then left. to pass, okay? Is your right clear? Yeah. Let's go then. That's why Mr. UPS oh. waited for you. Go on, in you go. That's why he stopped. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. Let's turn left. <laughs> and obviously the fact that you didn't move, <laughs> he went, alright, I'm off. <laughs> with the cyclist, okay? Just check your right side mirror for the motorbike. Now, after this junction, if we can see the road kind of straight, then we'll overtake, otherwise we won't. And the van's overtaking you, but he really should not have been. So we need to make sure we can see the road ahead clearly before we overtake, and we don't want any junctions about. So we can overtake after this junction here. So mirrors, move wide, and put your foot down. Like, today. Today. Come on. Check your mirrors and slide back into position. Keep accelerating. Better? Yeah. Alright, back to you. Keep 
keep an eye on him, keep an eye on him, Ooh. keep an eye on him. <laughs> He's heading straight there, yeah? <laughs> it's, it's quite overwhelming because you're looking at the roundabout. Yeah. But you've got to look at the roundabout and then look at the cross and then back to the roundabout. missing. All right, you got this. Wait oh. for him to completely come off. Don't, don't worry. Watch the next guy. Is he coming in? When he completely comes off with your feet, press the accelerator and steady clutch. Don't worry. Up a bit. Up a bit. You got this. You got this. I helped you out on that one, okay? <laughs> Just stop for him. Right. Is it clear after this? Yeah. Same again, go on. Try the same. If it's rolling back, then clutch. There you go. So that time, I didn't help you out. Are <laughs> you okay? Oh my god. Brake a bit. Is it clear? Yeah. You want to be in second gear before you bring the clutch up, otherwise it will jolt you. Because look, look at what speed we're at. So we had the clutch down for the majority of that, didn't we? What happened? It's too uphill, I don't like it. <laughs> and plus this mini that's to your right, she was a bit too close, wasn't yeah. she? And that's why I helped you out because she was so close. Yeah. But I all I, I was gonna hit her. <laughs> all I did on my side is I covered the clutch, you kinda came off and I helped you release it slow. Have the clutch down fully. Do you see it stopped revving again? Yeah. Yeah. All right, traffic lights, we're just going ahead. It's slightly staggered, but I want you to look at how the traffic in front maneuvers it. So we're going straight. Follow the van, okay? The van? Yeah, the little oh, white van. Those cyclists should not have been coming through that. I wasn't sure if the silver car was coming this way, that's why I didn't say silver yeah. car. <laughs> because I thought they might turn suddenly. Ooh, oh, my did you God. see that? I didn't say silver yeah. car. <laughs> because I thought they might turn suddenly. Ooh, oh, my did you God. see that? <gasps> that dog literally nearly Literally. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> you know she's pissed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Poor thing. All right, roundabout, going straight, please. You got it, well done. Position away from that silver car. Now we can get through that space. Is the gray car waiting? Yeah. yeah? Just take it slow, nice and straight. There we are. <laughs> I was about to joke that you hit the winger, I was gonna cry. No, but now it's too much. <laughs> I might actually start crying. Uh, bang. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry, sorry. That's not you. I'll tell you what happened in a second. Back on the accelerator, carry on. This guy behind is an idiot. He started overtaking the car behind you and then there was a car on the opposite side and I took control in case he planted his foot down and, you know, cut in front of us. We're going to stop over in a second, okay? You're not being slow, by the way. You, you've been driving correct the whole time. We've not been slow. So it's not your fault. All right, Erin, if you can pull in and park up on the left, um, just behind the silver car up there, on that brow. Not too close to the curb, it's a really high curb, a bit to the right if you can. Can't even open the door here. Look how high that is. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine, thank you. Secure the car. Hey, at least we got the handbrake that time. <laughs> yeah, we'll turn off the indicator. All right, that's the end of your driving lesson. You may relax. How are you feeling today? Okay. Okay, let's talk about what just happened in the last five minutes. So that roundabout uphill, do you get why it was rolling back? Yeah, I need to accelerate. Your accelerator was there. 
If you're rolling back, it means you're not on the biting point. Oh, okay. So what do you need to do? Lift it up higher. Lift it up a bit higher, but not fully. And then as soon as you come up a bit higher, it started moving. That's when I, cut, I helped you out yeah. on that side, yeah? Um, the, the dog thing we talked about. Um, <laughs> the man where I had to just take control yeah. now. Do you get what happened there? Um, you're actually driving all right. The road is a 20 miles per hour road. And as we're going through, he's kind of overtaking two, like, two cars in a way. And there was an oncoming car, which is where I took control yeah. straight away. Because if I just let you carry on with it, he's then going to get cut right back in front and then you just cut in front like between you and the car that's behind us but yeah you have to really be vigilant with your mirrors for this reason you have to regularly check that mirror because these random things even though you're not doing anything wrong you don't want to get caught off guard because yeah he's just cut in front randomly okay yeah. so be a bit more aware of what's happening around you i think i feel like i'm missing something out but i can't remember now oh just quick talk about cyclists. Do you get why we're trying to, when we're overtaking cyclists, why well, you have to kind of really get on with it? Yeah. Yeah? Because they're moving forward at the same time and you're kind of slowly going, yeah. which will take ages. <laughs> yeah. And then before you know it, someone turns up or a junction turns up. So yeah, you have to make it quick. Yeah. All right, well, that's the end of our video today. Hopefully that video has been useful for you guys. As you can see, you have to be really proactive, really defensive, be aware of your surroundings, especially when you're driving through busy towns, busy cities like this. And um, yeah, thank you for watching.